So once you've learned how to use the D to measure DBH, you're gonna need to go to a transect in order to figure out which trees you're gonna measure. You're not gonna wanna measure the whole forest, that'll take way too long. So the method that we're gonna show you how to use today is called a point quarter method. And there are various types of transect methods, but this one is gonna be the one we're gonna focus on today. So for this method, you're gonna go out into the woods and you're gonna randomly put a few flags into the ground. Then you're gonna come to the flag and you're gonna create kind of a quadrant over it so that it looks like a big X is over it. And you'll start off, you'll stand at the flag and with your feet, you'll kind of create a box. So everything that way is in my box. So now which tree am I gonna measure? I'm gonna measure the tree that's the closest to me. So when I look out into my box, this tree right here is the closest. So I'm gonna walk over to it, right here. And the first thing I wanna do is figure out what kind of tree this is and take note of that. So I'm gonna look at the leaves and hopefully by looking at these leaves, you're able to tell right away that this is sweet gum. Then I'm gonna to go to my breast height, pull out my DBH tape. I'm gonna go um, down a little bit to avoid this stem. Wrap it around the tree. And I got a DBH of 9.1. So since it's less than 10, that means that this actually doesn't count as a tree because it's not a fully grown tree yet. It's not big enough to count. So instead I would have to go to my next closest tree in this quadrant. So from here, if I look around, my next closest tree Probably that one right there. I can tell by looking that something like this American Holly is far too small to count as a tree. That's why I overlooked it. So I've come up to this tree, we're gonna identify it. So I look at the leaf. This is American Beach. I'm gonna get up nice and close to the tree so I can give it a nice big hug. Go to breast height. around it so I can hug it nice and tight. So the DBH that I would record for my American Beach is 31.6. As you can see, it's just past six dashes. So now I've done this one quadrant of my transect. So I have to go back to my flag. So I started here in this quadrant. So I like to just kind of move the same direction so I can keep track, but it doesn't matter which way you spin. So next I'm gonna spin this way. And this is now, now my quadrant where my arms are sticking out. So that tree there doesn't quite make it into this quadrant. We'll get to it in a minute. But now the closest tree to me is this one right here. And right from where I'm standing, I can tell this is another American beach. So I get nice and close to it. Give it a big old hug at breast height. And sometimes it's a little tricky when they've got lots of stick, uh, stems like this one does. Right. So I can see that the diameter of this American beach the second one is like 23. Yeah, I'll go with 23. It's between 23 and 23.1. When it's close like that, you just kind of make a judgment call. All right, so I'm back to my point. I was in this project. Now I need to move to my next project. So there's four quadrants. I'm on my third one. So I'm right in here. So now this tree is the closest tree to me. Very, very close. And you might look up and be like confused thinking it might be an American beach, but it's not. And there's a lovely leaf right here that proves otherwise. 
So that is a nice red maple. You can tell by the leaf shape, but also see how it's opposite leaf arrangement. That gives it away. So for this tree, I'm gonna find my diameter at breast height. A nice little hug. And these leaning trees would make it a little bit tricky. A tree that's leaning like this would be really helpful for you to know for a forest ecology. But if you're studying for lumber, you wouldn't even use this tree. It's too crooked. But the diameter of this tree here is 19.2. So now I have just one more tree because on a point quadrant, you're gonna have four trees, four quadrants. Come back here. I was in this quadrant. Now I'm going to be here in my last quadrant. And this one's really tricky because when I look out, a lot of the trees look pretty close to each other. If you really, really, really couldn't tell, you could measure the distance to the trees. But I'm pretty confident that that tree right there with the dark bark is the closest to me. I'm going to walk over the rock. Now I want to identify this tree here. And it's very hard to do because there are no leaves coming out of the tree. So you have to look up and you have to be very careful to look just at what's coming out of that tree specifically. If you look all the way at the top, this is a very, very tall tree that has long needles. If you look down, you can see these needles are all over the ground. So since it's groups of three and they're nice and long, it's a loblolly pine. So this loblolly pine I'm going to measure its diameter at breast height. Right here. Give this tree a nice big hug. And the diameter of this tree is 22.1. So just like that, you finished your first quadrant, point quadrant. Now what you would do next is you would have to go do another one. You can't just do one point project. That's not quite enough um, to know the forest health of this entire forest. So we have already placed another flag. So you'd look around for your next flag and then you're gonna go over there and do the same thing.